everybody, and today I'm going to review Cars 2, the newest Pixar movie that comes out this year. And of course, it's a sequel to the 2006 Cars. The movie stars Owen Wilson reprising his voice as Lightning McQueen for the sequel, and Larry the Cable Guy reprising his voice as Toe Mater. And of course, most of the originals do return their voice to some of the side characters that were part of the original. Well, if you've, if I've never mentioned it before, when it comes to Pixar, Pixar's bar has always been high. You know, the last 11 movies and every movie they've ever released has always went to number one. To me, Cars was, the first one was their weakest one out of all the movies they ever released. Actually, correction, I always thought Ratatouille was the worst one. I, that's one Pixar movie I never got into. Cars was okay for a point you know it was kind of neat to see that kind how they did that and that kind of world but to me the movie was lackluster and it's not the worst one so i was kind of bummed the fact that they were releasing cars too but i wasn't too and through too enthused about them releasing cars two a year after toy story 3 which to me toy story 3 is one of the best pixar movies and i mean me my favorite will always be Finding Nemo and Wally. -E. Those were my favorite two Pixar movies. But the thing is, okay, so here you got it. Cars 2 reprises the role. This time, instead of it being about mostly racing and Lightning McQueen and all that, this movie centers around a spy where they're involved in like the spy investigation and stuff like that during a World uh, Grand Prix. So you got... Lightning McQueen, who is racing in this Grand Prix, and then Toe Mater, who is actually ends up becoming part of the spy thing that's going on. Actually, to be honest, this whole movie is about Toe Mater, and if you have to enjoy Larry the Cable Guy, him and his comedy, to really enjoy this movie, because the movie is all about him. And where the first movie dealt with mostly Lightning McQueen, this one deals with Toe Mater. Well, the thing is, this movie just was not good at all. For a kid, they loved it. I took, actually, I took my nieces, nephews, my daughter to all watch this movie. They loved it. Kids will love this movie. But the thing is, <laughs> I wanted to fall asleep in it. Basically, what they did was they made put James Bond-like shit, spy shit, and mixed it with cars. And we all know the Cars movie in the first place was the first one was not a huge success. Was made a lot of money. The first one did not make that much, but it was actually still good enough. And the whole thing is that Cars mostly is Disney's princesses. It's it's the boy version of the princess. Its revenue comes from you know its merchandising, and that's what. The reason why I think Disney pushed Pixar to make a sequel to Cars to begin with was because of the merchandising. And let's get another one out there. That way we keep it going and all that. So it's going to make that money through merchandising alone. Even though the movie did make a little bit more than what the original did. It's still, it's not Toy Story. In fact, I enjoyed more of the Toy Story uh, intro, the little short that was before the movie, than I did the whole Cars movie. It just made me, you know, want Toy Story 4 real bad. That's what it was like. And so basically to me, Cars 2 is a failure. I didn't get into it, but for a child, if you have a kid, you're definitely going to take your kid to go see it. They're going to love it, but as far as an adult standpoint, I'm a little disappointed in Pixar on this one. And hope that their next one, which I think is called Brave, will bring back, you know, some of what Pixar is known for, like Up and stuff like that. So, But me personally, I didn't like it. But if you guys seen it, let me know what you think in the box below. And until next time.